we'd already made the decision that we were going to leave. All the black leaf litter had been falling from the west, but about um, five o'clock it changed. The leaf litter started coming from the east and it was, there was a breeze coming in. So and I said, no, that's it, it's not safe to be here. It blew up something shocking during the night. So about four o'clock I got the call to help with the NEVAC centre here in Bermagui. Um, and by that time you knew it had gone pretty bad. My next one neighbour, the one that I'd said I'm leaving, he came in and uh, he said, no, it's all gone, mate. Yeah, OK, fair enough, you know, we'll deal with it later, was, was the kind of mentality. I went back about two or three days later. I'd promised the wife I wouldn't go down and have a look at it until she'd come back from Sydney. So we stopped at the top and I'm looking at it going, oh, yeah, it's all gone. Um, it was mud brick, so all the mud brick walls stood. It looked like a ruined castle. We had a Navara out there um, and the windshield had just melted and then run through the, the gutter of the, the windshield wipers. The wheels are melted and rolled down the hill. The, the engine, it's all alloys just melted and so the temperatures are, are enormous. You really lose that sense of place, you know, that's the big thing you want. Being able to make coffee in my undies and that sort of stuff, I can't do at the moment. So yeah, they'll be nice to get back to be doing that. I have a nine-year-old son, um, Jackie, and then there was a day last week where um, he just sort of had a breakdown. You know, he's putting his fingers in his ears and sat in there and wouldn't do anything anyone said, wouldn't react to anybody. So I got him up and we went for a walk on the golf course just behind the house. I said, how are you going, mate? What did you lose that you didn't want to lose? And he, um, he tears up and he says to me, Nan, Nan made him a um, Humpty Dumpty, the ABC Humpty Dumpty needed that. And um, uh, my mum's got dementia, she's dying. And, and so that to him, as he said, was, um, hang on. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so he said that um, Nan can't need him another one. So we're standing on the, on the golf course, both bawling our eyes out, you know, having that great connection about, you know, I'm feeling your pain, you're feeling my pain. So, and that was great for him to release that. Everybody's going to be affected by this. Everybody from, from whether you lost your house, whether you were just in the fire, whether you knew someone who was in the fire, whether you just saw it on the telly. There is so many people affected by it. So everybody should be looking after each other for that. There's no divides, you know, can I help you is just what everybody's asking and you're getting pay it forward stuff, you know. So if I get something I go, I don't need it, I'm going to pay it forward, you know. Like I could, you could be someone that keeps it all and there's not, none of them around. They're, they're sort of myths. Everybody's helping the next person along.